What's up guys and welcome to another deck concept. Today we're looking at the Empowered Symphonic Edelon deck concept. So let's get right into it. First up we have the Edelons. We have the new field spell card, Reckless Magic Circle. When it's activated you get to search out an Alistair, the Edelon Summoner from your deck to your hand. As well as if you activate anything that includes fusion summoning a monster, your opponent cannot negate that activation or activate any cards in response to that effect. As well as they can't do that as well when it's fusion summoned. So basically if you activate like a Shadal fusion and you have a bunch of Shadal effects going off, they can't respond to it. So that's not really reckless I'd say. We have the Edelon Summoner, the Alistair. We have Edelon Summoning Magic for the fusion plays. You can banish your opponent's monster from their graveyard if you need them as fusion material for Edelon Beast monsters. As well as you can return it to your hand by targeting a banished Edelon Alistair from your banished zone. Add it back to your hand and shuffle it back to your deck. We got the Light Edelon Beast. We have the Wind Edelon Beast. And we have the Dark Edelon Beast. The Dark Edelon Beast is pretty anti. It's like a dark door plus your opponent can only activate one monster effect per turn. Well technically this applies to both players so you probably should make it main phase too. We have the Symphonics, so these guys are wind tuner monsters sort of thing. We have Symphonic Guitars, this card allows you to spell summon any Symphonic monster from your deck by discarding one card. We have Symphonic Warrior Mics, really good in this deck because we get to additionally normal summon if this card is special or normal summon. We have Symphonic Sizer, you can banish this card from your graveyard, especially when it's banished Symphonic Monster except for itself. Symphonic Drum, so this card's really good because you can change its attribute to anything you want, and the Edelon Beast monsters require specific attributes for their fusion summon, so basically you can make anything in this deck with Symphonic Drums, as well as the monsters get banished after the Edelon Summoning Magic fuses a monster on the field, but that's okay because Symphonic Sizers can bring them back. We have Symphonic Bases to modify some levels depending on the size of your hand, increasing their levels. The Empowered Warriors, we have the Light Empowered Warrior. When this card is destroyed by battle or by your opponent's card effect in the monster zone, you get to search out during the end phase a spellcaster or warrior type monster with 2000 or less attack. It's really slow, plus it's pretty conditional because your opponent has to destroy, not you. So it takes a while, but it eventually gets to your combo pieces. As well as its pendulum effect is pretty good because if you activate it and then your opponent attacks or you battle their opponent's monster, you get to discard one card, then half the opponent's attack points and defense points is gone. And that's a permanent loss, so it's really good against like, I don't know, Chaos Max Dragon with 4000 attack can't be targeted. This effect doesn't target, so it's really good. We have the Dark Empowered Warrior, so this card allows you to battle Fader sort of thing in the pendulum zone by destroy destroying in the pendulum zone and its monster effects not really important we have the empowerment discard a card spell summon an empowered warrior from your deck as well as you can banish four warriors or spellcaster monsters from your graveyard then add an ether the wicked empowered dragon from your deck to your hand well it says ether monster but this is the one we're using when it's normal to special you get to target one monster field banish that target banishing is pretty good so yeah i have one copy in here and for some additionals, we have Magical Abductor. So this card's really good because we have a lot of spell cards we need to activate, such as the Edelon Summoning Magic, as well as the Terraforming for our triple um, Empowerment and triple Reckless Magic Circle. So we have like six field spells to search out. And we have Reinforcement Army, Twin Twister, a lot of other spell cards we need to activate. So Magical Abductor gets three spell counters pretty easily in the stack. As well as we got the Fable Sir Bell. We have a lot of discarding costs, so we can get an additional monster with that. As well as he's light attributed, so the light Edelon Beast monster is possible, even more so. For some combos, we have Magical Abductor in the Pendulum Zone. We activate Terraforming, so that's one spell counter. Searching out the Reckless Magic Circle, we'll activate it. So now it's two spell counters. Searching out the Alistair, the Edelon Summoner, and then we'll normal summon him. Searching out the Edelon Summoning Magic. Then we'll activate it, making three spell counters, fusing a sizes from our hand and an Alistair from our side field by banishing the Alistair to fusion the summon into the Raiden, the Edelon Beast Monster, the Wind Edelon Beast Monster. Then we'll activate the Symphonic Guitars by removing three spell counters, searching them out, then activating him. Then we'll activate the Guitars special effect by discarding one card, we spell summon a Symphonic Monster from our deck such as Mike's for the additional normal summon. We'll activate the Edelon Summoning Magic by shuffling it back from our graveyard to our deck. We can add back the Banished Alistair from our Banished Zone back to our hand. Then we'll normal summon the Alistair once again. 
then we'll search out the Edelon Summoning Magic for more fusion plays if you wanted to. So that's how you basically uh, combo in with the Magical Productor and getting the double normal summon from Symphonic Mics for the double fusion plays you can potentially have. So this is what the Empowered Symphonic Edelon deck looks like. It's a lot of fun because there's a lot of synchros. I love synchros. As well as fusion plays with the Alistair and the Edelons. Really good because they have that Miracle Fusion sort of component to them. And you don't really go minus with them. And the Symphonic Extra Normal Summons thanks to Mikes for the Alistair. Gives you even more room for fusion plays. So I really love that synergy. And you have a lot of outs in your extra deck with like Utopia Lightning. Horus hits um, Steel Effect, Ignister non-targeting, Trisha non-targeting, Crystal Wing with the additional boost if you attack a higher attack or leveled monster, level 5 or higher. Nirvana High Paladin being a Synchro Pendulum monster that can half your opponent's life points, pretty good stuff. Anyways, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys later.